Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics, and we are interested to find the uh, numerical in the soil mechanics. So this is the problem given to us, and we want to find the unknown parameter in it. So the problem states that a saturated sand sample, right? Saturated sand sample has a dry unit weight of 18 kN per cubic meter, and this sand has a specific gravity of 2.63. So find the water content, right? We will find the water content of the soil of this sand sample, right? If the gamma W, the, uh, the unit weight of water is 10 kN per cubic meter. So there are some uh, parameters given to us, like the sand sample has the dry unit weight and it is a specific gravity and the water unit weight and we want to find the water content that how much water content is present in this sample, sand sample. So to start the solution of this problem, as we know that it is given that a saturated sand sample, right? So a saturated sand sample, so it means that the degree of saturation of this sand sample is equal to the 1. Has a dry unit weight of 18. So we can write it that it has a dry unit weight of 18 kilonewton per cubic meter, right? It is the unit weight, uh, the dry unit weight of this uh, sample is 18. Now, and has a specific gravity of 2.63. So I can also mention that the specific gravity of this sand sample is 2.63. And find the water content of this sample, soil sample, at uh, the sand sample, and it has the, if the gamma water, if the gamma W is 10 kN. So if the gamma W is 10 kN per cubic meter, I, I want to find the water content, that how much water content is present in this sand sample. So to start the solution, I have a simple formula to find the water content, right? So I will use this formula, W into G is water content into specific gravity is equal to the S into E. We will search different formulas to find the unknown parameters. Like in this case, I want to use this formula from the soil mechanics uh, from the different types of formula. Why? Because there are some unknown parameters to us, so it will be easy to find the unknown. Uh, I will also upload a, a, a separate video on the soil mechanics formulas. Please check the video on the link. I will give the link in the description. So by using this formula, the water content into specific gravity is equal to the degree of saturation into wide ratio. But here again, we know that the, we will find the water content, right? The specific gravity is known to us, which is 2.63. The degree of saturation is one which is known to us, but the this wide ratio is also unknown to us. So what will we do? First, we will find the wide ratio. So we can find the wide ratio by the another formula, which states that the uh, gamma d, the dry unit weight formula, I've given uh, different types of uh, formula for this using the soil mechanics. So check this video in the link, please. One plus e. So this is the dry unit weight formula. So to find the E, right, I will, I will transfer this side portion into this side and I will transfer this gamma D into denominator. So it will be simple, 1 plus E is equal to the, it's simple mathematics, gamma D, the above one is the same, now gamma D will be, comes out to, into denominator. So it's very simple, just crossing these two elements. So now 1 plus E, right, so I can know that the 1, so I can write the E, is equal to the GS specific gravity into the, into the unit weight of the water into the gamma D into minus one, right? I shift this one here into this. So now I will find the wide ratio. So then I will put this wide ratio into this formula so to get the water content. Now, I use this formula of the, to find the wide ratio because we know that the dry unit weight of the soil is known to us, the specific gravity is known to us, and the gamma W is known to us. That's why I use this formula, otherwise, I, I should switch to the other formula. So in this case, all other are known to us, G is 2.63, G is, you can see here, and the gamma W is 10 here, you can also see, gamma D is the dry unit weight, which is 18 here, and minus one, so I'm just, by calculating this value, I get the answer of 0.46. So the wide ratio comes out to be 0.46, right? So now I will put this wide ratio into this equation, so I will get my water content. So by putting this value here into this equation, so W into G is 
is equal to this degree of saturation into Y ratio. So by W, uh, the transferring this value here into the other portion, so it will come out into division, right? It is in multiplication here. So this portion will come out into division. So it will be GS, right? So now the water content is equal to the degree of saturation is one of this sand sample because it is stated this it is a saturated sand sample. So the degree of saturation will be one. The E is 0.46 is I found out here. And the GS of this soil sample is sand sample is GS 2.63, right? 2.63. So by dividing these uh, parameters, uh, I get my answer of 0.17, right? Now by multiplying it with the 100, I will get my water content in terms of the percentage, so it comes out to be 17%. So my water content of this sand sample is 17%. I found out that the water content in this sand sample is 17%. If the saturated soil sand sample is a dry unit rate of 18, specific gravity of 2.63, and the gamma used of the water here is 10, so then my sand has this uh, water content of 17%. Hope you guys understand. This is the uh, formulas, different formulas used in the soil mechanics. So I use the two formulas, uh, this one and the, this formula, right? So you can use the different formulas according to, your, uh, according to your unknown parameters, right? To get the unknown parameter. So don't forget to subscribe my channel, guys, for DDC1 Engineering videos. And thank you for watching my video.